is Andrew with uh, Prime Investigator Advice. Um, I want to talk really quick about moving automobile surveillance. And this is typically when uh, a person leaves their house and you're going to be following them in your car. Um, one of the first rules you need to know is um, you don't want to be right up on their bumper, obviously. But that doesn't mean you have to be super far away either. The farther away you are, the, the harder it is for you to, in the city, on the freeway. So you want to keep a, maybe a two, three car distance, depending on how your case is going. Um, but there's, um, there's some couple uh, just general rules you always want to follow. Uh, one of them is if you're on the freeway, <clears throat> you either want to be to the right of the vehicle that you're following or behind them. And the reason for that, well, there's several reasons. One of them is, is if the person you're following gets off the freeway real quick, it's going to be a little bit harder for you to get off just as fast um, without getting into an accident or something to that effect. Um, the second reason is, is you want to be out of the direct line of sight. So if they're looking in the rear view mirror, you don't want the, your car to be in their view too much. And naturally, I, I don't check my passenger side mirrors as much as uh, I do my rear view mirror. And so that's, that's one of the reasons why you want to do that. Um, and uh, so basically, getting off the freeway quickly, you want to be able to anticipate that by being to the right of them or being behind them. Um, and also, when they're making their lane switches, if you're already in the right lane, you don't have to switch with them every time they switch a lane. You're already going to be where they're eventually going to have to go, and that's off the freeway. So, for instance, if uh, I'm going to go ahead and point this out the window here. We're following this white car over here. I'm out of their, their line of sight, and I can stay with them. If, if you find that they're getting in, like, a uh, carpool lane, or or they're just in a fast lane and it's just the traffic's really weird, I have found it best to just go ahead and get in the same exact lane that they're in and stay with their with their traffic and try to make try to get closer um, at a different time, but just try to stay at their pace as long as you can without letting them get too far away. So that's one of the main things I would focus on during uh, moving automobile surveillance. Um, I have a ton of other tips for like in-city scenarios. Essentially, the success of your case is going to come at the beginning. You don't you don't want to set yourself up for failure by being noticed when they leave the residence. So you're going to want to anticipate those things. Think about how far you're going to have to follow them uh, on a two-lane road. Just you know, if it's not a lot of traffic, they're going to be watching you follow them for a long time. Um, just think about those things, and uh, if you do, if you set yourself up right. You're not going to have to play cloak and dagger the whole time and, and hide behind a bunch of vehicles and, and things like that just to follow somebody. Essentially, if they never knew you, you were at their residence, then they're never going to know you're following them. And that's my moving automobile surveillance tip for today. Thanks.